Alright guys, welcome back to the Sawmill. Today we're going to be doing a review and an install. Lock and lube grease coupler. And uh, this is a sponsored video or nothing like that. I bought this off Amazon. I think it was $29. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube and Instagram using this thing with a lot of success. So uh, we'll see if the hype is true or not on this since this is not a sponsored video. And I'll give you guys an honest opinion of what I think. So to install this, I've got to take the factory tip off of here. This is my DeWalt grease gun. And if you're looking for a power grease gun, I can't, I, you know, I can't recommend this one enough. It is just a real good time saver for greasing all your machines. Runs off a uh, 20 volt battery. I got this on Amazon also. It was quite expensive though. Probably put some Loctite on here at the factory to install this. So once we get it off, we should be able to screw the Loctite right on here. They said it's universal. It fits on almost every grease gun that's out there. So uh, we'll see if that holds true or not. I was gonna put this in my vise to loosen it, but this spring is so thick right here, I couldn't get a bite on it. I have to do this manually with some channel locks. And uh, something else here I'll recommend. These are uh, Nipex Germany made channel locks. I got these on Amazon a while back and uh, this is no sponsorship or nothing like that either, but man, these things are nice. These are the best channel locks I've ever used. Old uh, Chucky2009, one of my favorite YouTube channels. He, uh, he done a review on these a few years ago. That's where I got the idea from them. Definitely put some Loctite on there when they installed these. There we go. Let's see what's in the kit right here. Like I said, this was on Amazon for $29. That's where I bought mine. And my local Napa store has these, but they're like $39 there. So Amazon is a lot cheaper. So you're supposed to get a free spare seal kit. I guess this is the spare seals if the seals ever go out. But uh, based on the reviews and the other videos that I saw, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just pull this trigger back to engage it to go on top of your grease dessert and lock it down and uh, that's all you got to do according to what they say so uh, we'll see if they are right about this or not so here's their little motto end greasing frustration well i'll tell you what this is the expensive grease gun i have this dewalt a couple hundred dollars and even though it was expensive this little grease dessert on the end or the connector rather I have no trouble installing it on the grease fittings, but taking it off, man, it's a bear. You got, you got to yank on it sometimes to get it to pull loose. So hopefully this lock and lube be a whole lot easier, especially on those grease desserts that are hard to get to. Well, I read the instructions and it doesn't say anything about Teflon tape. So uh, we'll try it without it and see how it goes. Exciting stuff right here, guys. Another reason I got this, I'm getting ready to do the first service on the Mahindra tractor. I hit 50 hours yesterday and I went and got my oils and all my filters. And I'll probably do a 50 hour service and a review video on this tractor. I've got a lot of questions about how it's been running. So we'll probably address that in the video on the service of it. But I was getting everything together and I figured now would be the time to try one of these out when I was doing the service here. And hopefully make greasing a whole lot easier. So let's see how it goes. Pull the trigger. That felt a little too easy right there. It's on there. I do not know if that's going to work or not. It doesn't feel like the fitting is on the grease search. So if we got grease that starts pouring out here, it's going to be a failure. But it goes off and on real easy. It's, I like that. So uh, let's pull the trigger here and see what happens. Well, to my surprise, that works. I could see grease coming out over here on the seal just a little bit, and there's none coming out right here, and there's plenty of grease getting pumped in. So let's see how easy it is to take off once you use it. Huh. Well, looks like everybody was right about that. 
That was extremely easy to use. That's nice. Let me get the old one out and show you guys the frustrations that I had with the old one. It might be some of the problems you have as well with those cheaper uh, grease guns. So I went ahead and got my pliers because I'm going to need them to get it off. So this is the one that came on the DeWalt and this is like a $250 grease gun. So you put it on. You heard it snap. It's seated on there. You know, and it doesn't find them putting grease into the fitting right there, no problem. But taking it off was just a bear. I can't, I can't pull it loose. You know, that right there wasn't too bad, actually. Most of the time it was worse than that trying to get it off. That was the hard part about it. But this right here, that takes all the work out of it. You're done. Super fast. I'm really happy with that so far. We'll see how long it holds up, though. With daily use. The only question I have left is how long will this thing hold up for? They sent some extra seals so that tells me it might be a, uh, a weak point in the design. Most time people sell you stuff like that so they get you to come back and spend more money. So I don't know if this thing will last a few weeks or years between the seals but it will definitely get some use here. We have the new Holland in here in the garage. We have a Cub Cadet uh, lawn tractor. Got the big Mahindra right here. I got a Honda four-wheeler behind the camera. Got a lot of stuff in here that needs greasing, not counting the sawmill. So this thing will get a lot of use. So uh, I'll tell you what, guys, I will report back in a few months, show you guys how this thing's doing.